And we arrested um, a woman for for, for engaging in prostitution. What really changed my life is that about three years ago, she was assaulted to a point where she was unrecognizable and almost, uh, almost died, and she was assaulted by a John. My approach in arresting her had done nothing to care for her, and in the end, because she was never taken care of the way she should have been taken care of. Uh, she's forever changed. She'll never talk the same that she, the way she did. She'll never walk the same. Uh, so that case kind of changed the way I felt about my job and doing this sort of work. And it, I developed a lot of empathy towards the women that are out there that have to survive doing this. The police officers are usually the people that are going to see them at their lowest, lowest point. And I think that for them, they have the hardest time wanting to do something and looking outside of that box because they're afraid because they are so broken. And what can I do? What can I contribute? What can I help? I can't do anything. In an ideal scenario, an officer is going to recognize sex trafficking, and this could be one, two o'clock in the morning. That officer is going to have a resource booklet in his patrol bag. He'll be able to reach over, grab his resource booklet, and say, okay, who do I call? You might not be the right person to save them, but you can help them. You can be that first person to care enough to say, I want to help you, but I don't know how, so I'm going to point you to this person that I trust and that I know that can help you. If we can lower the demand, then obviously uh, it's basic economics. That's going to reduce the supply side of it as well. Um, so locally and throughout the state, we've been doing these reverse things where we target Johns and arrest them and put their name in the paper and convict them of criminal offenses to say, this is not okay, we're not going to accept this in our community. I think in particular with law enforcement, I think a big reason people don't come forward is because there were police officers that were purchasing us for sex and for whatever they wanted. There were police officers there, so who are you going to go to? It really only takes one police officer to do something disrespectful or hurtful uh, or unkind to a woman who's in this situation for her to never be able to tell her story, to never tell police about the probably multiple times that she's been beaten or raped. One police officer being kind and understanding and caring can change that dynamic tremendously.